Hi, I'm Bishop Paris. The message I want to share is found in John chapter 15. And in John chapter 15, the, uh, the Savior is talking to his disciples and he says, The greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends. And then the Savior goes on to tell his disciples that they are his friends. And that those that follow him are, are his friends. Um, he goes on to say that the world hates him and the world's going to hate his friends. Um, the message I want to share is just that that's okay. It's okay to, to not be loved of the world. It's more important to be loved of the Savior and to, and to know that you have a friend in Him. Um, I think that so, so many young people see people in the world and the things that they are participating in and think that they have this sense of belonging. Um, and, and that they have, uh, they're having a good time and that they're, they're having good friendships. When that's just another of the lies that Satan uh, tells us. The, the best way to have an exciting and meaningful and wonderful life is to live the gospel. The best way to have true friends is to live the gospel. Um, oftentimes I think young, younger uh, men and women seem to be trying really hard to impress everyone and to make everyone think how cool they are or how talented they are. And um, in some ways I think that, that they try to earn friendship and they try to earn love when we don't need to do that. When it comes to the Savior, He loves us no matter what. No matter how good we are at sports, no matter how talented we are at as a musician or uh, what clothes we wear, um, despite whatever anyone else in the world thinks of us, the Savior loves us regardless. He does ask that we follow Him, that we are obedient to Him because He loves us and He knows that that's the way to have a good life both in this life and, and in the next. And that's just the message that I want to share with the youth. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.